城艺术博物馆是美国最大的博物馆之一，这里每天聚集着世界各地的旅客们到此一游。那今天呢，我们就借助这个机会来听一下世界各地的朋友们印象中的中国人，来看一下他们对中国的看法。A lot of people. A big economy now, very fast growing. I just think of the city, and I think it's a really pretty country, actually. In the past, I remember the bikes, and like nowadays, now biotechs and technology. I'm actually martial arts. I've studied Chinese martial arts and Japanese martial arts. So, can you show us a little? Because we really want to see. I guess I could do a kata. Oh. Here, bang. Wow! Wow, that's really great. I had the opportunity to work with Chinese people and to go to China for work many times. I have a good relationship with Chinese people. I think are good people. Okay, there is a big difference between my culture and Chinese culture, but I think uh, it's not so different at the end. It's easy to understand each other. I lived in Canada for uh, five months, and I met some Chinese over there, and they were really kind uh, with me. And I, they tried to, to teach me some of the culture and some of the words and uh, phrases in Chinese, and, and they were uh, really nice to me. Honestly, I mean, China is such a big country. That's probably within the country there's difference and so on. So I prefer not to say anything because I might sound stupid. For me, it's not so difficult because my grandma is Japanese, so I can distinguish. I think the Chinese they are taller than Japanese. Uh, with the eyes, uh, Korea. In my the people, the Korean people I know, uh, the eyes are more uh, open or more uh, yeah open and. <laughs> Chinese and Japanese, it's really difficult for me to distinguish. I think it's not impossible, it's quite easy. I cannot <laughs> say how, how I can manage, but I think that 90% of the time I can recognize uh, Japanese from a Chinese. Notice that um, Chinese are just speak a bit louder. Well, it seems like Chinese is a lot more rapid speech, maybe I'm wrong. Because I think the Japanese it's more shy, and the Chinese not so shy as Japanese people. I guess reserved, like reserved people. Most of Asian people, uh, you are Chinese people, are not uh, immediately open eh? uh, to to discuss things. But it's part of the culture. No? For us, it's much more easy to go straight to the point of the discussion. And Asian people sometimes need more time. I would like to, but it seems very complicated and hard for, for, I have a hard time with languages and the script seems very complicated, so. I know it's ideograms where little pictures, but it's so, that was originally, but it's not anymore. Maybe, maybe to, to learn some words it will be not very difficult, but to write, I think it will be impossible for us. Oh, I love Chinese food. I love Chinese food. Oh, yeah, sure, it's one of my favorite food. All right, I just ate Chinese last night. I have to say I really love the food in China. Uh, as an Italian, I can say that it's probably the best experience of food after my food, my, my, my country, that is Italy. Yeah. Noodles are very good. I've never eaten Chinese food in China, but in Brazil we have many Chinese restaurants and I eat Chinese food once a month. My friends from Canada, from China, they told me that they, it, it's not the same. It's like for me to eat, eat tacos here in, in, in the United States. I would love to go to China and, and try the, the real food over there. 很开心的是，我们今天在费城最有文化气息的地方收集到了来自世界各地不同的声音。别忘了在屏幕下方留言并分享我们的想法，更重要的是一定要订阅我们的频道。我们下一期再见吧。